Um, Dad, you don't have to come in, you know. I want to be able to talk to Sean on my own. Okay. Well, soon in Sean, okay? Thank you. I'll wait for you outside. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Um, was it awful? The pain was, yeah. I wish it could have been me instead. Yeah, it was my fault. I should have done something about it yesterday. Um, Sean, why was you with Ryan? Just getting the bus, that's all. Yeah, I would have been that. So, how long are they keeping you in here for? Don't know. Well, I'll come and see you as many times as I can. And I'll stay tonight if you want. They won't let you. I lied. They won't be able to find me. Sean? Are you asleep? Love you. Back in your manage? Yeah. <laughs> I'm amazed you're back on your feet so quick. I know, I still a bit tender though. I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, you're seeing it over it. Just told me not to be mad, didn't they? Eighty years ago, it would have been three weeks in a darkened room drinking beef tea. Oh, we had it hard as a kid, like. Yeah, cheeky. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now listen. Look after yourself. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Well, it's good to have you back in one piece, anyway. You sure your mum don't mind us, do you? No. Hi. You all right? How are you feeling? Um, good. Thank you for everything you've done. It's nothing. Well, you only saved my life. <laughs> I not go that far. So, uh, got anything planned for over the summer? Not really. Um, I was wondering whether we could meet up sometime. Yeah, okay. One evening this week, maybe? Well, uh, a, a daytime would probably be better. Lunch, then? Yeah, thank you. Do you want to do it today, or do you want to leave it for a bit? Um, no, we'll do it today. Right, um, half twelve at mine, then. Okay. Right, see you later. What? He's still my mate. My cat is like I say no for everything he's done for me, can I? You're working in the shop later anyway, what does it matter? Hiya. Always just dropping something off. Have fun. You seem to have gone to a lot of trouble. Not really. What's your beach, eh? I just seen Claire with all the kids taking them swimming. Oh, good. Wish I was doing things like that with Dylan. If only I could curry favour with Isla. Mango chutney. Sorry? You've just reminded me. Thanks, Sean. Well, I'm glad I have my use. How's Sean, so? Yeah, she's good, thanks. You okay? Yeah, fine. Yes. Can I make an order, please? Just popped in to see Ryan, by the way. Yeah, what for? Check he was doing everything okay for his big date with Sean. And was he? Ah, he was halfway there, but uh, I put him to his paces. All right, what did you tell him? Just all those little touches that he very appreciates. Like what? Trade secret. <laughs> but she'll be putty in his hands by the time he's finished. Oh, well, thanks for that, Kieran. My pleasure. Yeah. But if you think, you know, feeding Ryan some corny old chat-up routine is going to get you into my bed, think again. Senita, is it all right if I just nip out for a second? Yeah. Is it all right? Yeah. Look, feeling a bit weird about the flowers and everything. It wasn't me, it was Karen. Karen? <laughs> I saw him in the shop and he pushed a load of advice on me and then he came round and just thought I took over. I couldn't get rid of him. Is that why we're drinking water? He said that's what they drink in LA at lunchtime. You haven't got anything fizzy, have you? I was just going to get some kebabs. 
Swire doesn't know what it's like in LA anyway. He might have been in his submarine. We've got beer and lemonade. Um, yeah, can you make me a shandy, please? Thanks. So I'm guessing you can choose a music then. <laughs> we can have Tom Jones if you'd rather. Mm. Look, I was going to ask you last week actually, but I've got tickets for this music festival. I was thinking, what do you want? Sophie? What's up with her? I'm sorry. So So fair. Get away from me. What? You know, you knew everything he was planning. He wasn't planning anything. Oh, I can hardly say no after everything he's done for me. Well, I couldn't. You want to get back with him, don't you? No, I don't. You must think I'm stupid. I heard him in the hospital telling the nurse that you was his girlfriend. What? And then when I came in, he was all over you. He was pouring me shandy. He was practically snogging you. Oh, I don't believe it. Well, I'm sorry for ruining your plans. Yeah, but you could have been more wrong. Yeah? We'll go back and finish what you started, because that's what I'd do. Nothing was going on. It would have if I hadn't a call. No, it wouldn't. I can't believe you'd lie like that. Well, I can't believe you come and check up on me. Yeah, well, it's a good job. Right, well, if you can't trust me. I heard Karen telling Michelle what was going on. Karen? Yeah? And I would help Ryan make some romantic meal. Yeah. And Ryan kept telling him to bog off. It was Karen who made all them fancy touches. All Ryan wanted to do was get a kebab. Well, why did you do what Karen said? Uh, because maybe you felt pushed into it. If I'd have known it was going to be like that, then I wouldn't have gone. And he didn't try anything? No, because I didn't give him a chance. And the only thing he did say was that, oh, I know it. If you listen to me, I say like, what? Take me to a music festival. But then you came in and I didn't have a chance to answer him. And if he hadn't come in, what would you have said? Then I'd have said no. It means nothing to me. You're the one that I love. No one else, not ever. You better believe me. Sean? What are you doing? Nothing. Can I come in? I thought that I'd better explain. Was that out there? Was that what I think it was? I don't believe this, you're a lesbian. That's a big word. What then, bisexual? I don't know, I'm confused. Yeah, we'll join the club. So how long's this been going on? About three months. So you were going out with me at the same time? No, it was after we'd split up. So you were stringing me along? No, I wasn't. So how long have you known? It's just that I haven't known. And I've been trying to work it out, what's been going on inside my head. And what have you decided? I'm not sure yet. Just that I think I am in love with Sophie. And is she one? One what? A dyke. She's just as confused as I am, Ryan. So you packed me in so you could sleep with her? I did you? We've not even done anything like that. So what do you do? Just snog? It's not about sex. It's about feelings. You don't just choose it. You don't just say to God, oh, please, gonna be like this because I'm fed up of blokes and I never want kids. It is something inside you. So why didn't you tell me? No, like I said, I was confused. And I was scared. And I was embarrassed and wishing sometimes that it wasn't happening. I had no one to talk to other than Sophie. I still don't get it. Yeah, well, I'm not sure we do either. So who else knows? No one. We'd like it to stay that way. Then why snog Sophie in public? It was a big mistake, I know. 
She was upset. I don't know. It just kind of happened. You've done this because I tried it on with Sophie. This is not about you. You wanted revenge. You're Michael Sophie. I don't want to hurt you. I just fell in love with somebody else. That's why I came to lunch to play with my mind. No, I came because you saved my life. And I came because I still like you as a friend. But that's all. I'm sorry. When would you have told me? If I hadn't have found out. I really don't know. I was just hoping that you and me would fade and I wouldn't need to tell you. Come on, at least I'm being honest with you now. Only because you want to keep me quiet. That's why you came back. I know, right, I know that this is a lot to ask from you, but we're not ready for people to know. So will you, please? I have to see what I...